How often do you think about that moment? Um, it's for sure every day. Sarah Waymeyer Aparicio led the Waukesha South Band last November during the Christmas parade on Main Street when Daryl Brooks drove into 11 of her students in his red SUV. Some of their physical injuries have healed. Some of them are still going through some treatment and recovery. I think everyone still carries the emotional scars though. Wednesday, a jury found Brooks guilty on all 76 counts, including six counts of first degree intentional homicide for those who died that day. There are no good feelings in a situation like this but it made me feel relief. Aparicio played a role in that conviction, testifying in week two of the trial, answering questions directly from the man who severely injured her band members. Can you estimate the speed of the vehicle that you saw that day? I'm not good at estimating speeds, but it felt fast as it went past me. It felt like it was accelerating. What was it like facing the person who did this to your students. I told myself, you have to go out there and look him in the face and let him know that he can't intimidate you because I'm the only voice representing my students in this situation. Now that Brooks will likely spend the rest of his life behind bars, Aparicio says families can start to move on. And she says she'll be back with the band on Main Street for this year's parade. I think it just is, again, a step of resiliency and showing myself and my daughters and the students that we, we are strong, and even though we've been through something horrible, it's not going to define who we are. Hillary, she's the former band director. Did the parade attack have anything to do with her decision to leave? It did, Patrick. It really put things in perspective for her. She said she wanted to take some time, step back, spend more time with her family. Uh, she still is teaching music at a local elementary school. She's also on the Waukesha Memorial Parade Commission. And so she's still, uh, again, going to be back here with the parade on Main Street. And uh, coming up uh, on Monday, Brooks and prosecutors are back in the courtroom and they will pick a sentencing date. Hillary Mintz reporting live in Waukesha tonight.